fall of the Roman Empire, man. That's a big deal. And there's a TikTok trend going around talking about, you know, how often do you think about Rome? And this is one of those things like, uh, I it's I don't care about TikTok trends. I'm not on TikTok. I'm mainly a Facebook shorts or YouTube shorts guy because I'm old. But uh, I thought it was funny to hear that this was even a trend going around because these ladies are asking their significant others, boyfriends, husbands, whatever, how often they think about the Roman Empire. And the majority of them have a very similar response and that's the uh there are correlations of the fall of the roman empire and what's happening to our current culture and for anyone who's been paying attention to the to the discourse that's been constantly happening in our in our in our in our society in our country you can tell that people making that connection are very aware of the culture war and People can act like there isn't a culture war all day, but when you have when you have political figures, corporate figures, and social media leaders or whatever pushing for like for instance hormones and uh, you know puberty blockers and things. By the way, puberty blockers are one of those chemicals that they use to to castrate pedophiles, like chemically castrate them. Some of these puberty blockers, like that's that's what they are, and so it's kind of insane that we won't let a child vote drink, smoke, get a tattoo, buy a gun, but we're going to let the child chemically alter their physiology that has repercussions that are well documented. People who get like trans people who completely get the surgery and all that shit, the uh, suicide rate goes up quite significantly. And that's a little crazy considering that, you know, trans individuals are, are already sort of in the higher percentage of people that are depressed and do tend to lean towards suicide because, you know, they got things going on. But the whole Roman Empire thing, it's like, if you don't understand history, you're doomed to repeat it. Watching, uh, you could watch any movie that has like the Roman Empire uh, sort of as like their, their, you know, their time period or whatever. And you can see that they, they portray the Senate leaders and the uh, representatives of the people always as these greedy, corrupt politician type figures who are only trying to say what they need to say to get the masses to agree with them. And then they distract them with, with, you know, the, the games and the gladiators and all these competitions and plays. And it's all, it's all the same thing that's happening now. You know, we have, we've spent billions of dollars on a war that we really don't have any business being a part of we had the mainstream going Rush, if you don't like that then you're against democracy it's like against democracy man the president of ukraine like restricted all elections stopped people from going to church and he's not letting the news report actual news like there's no democracy being fought for over there that's insane but people just hear it on the news or on the tv and they're just like that's what's happening we got to support them because you know we got we got to do that shit and it's like mm, that's warmongering you're you're for war and you don't even know what's going on like it's i don't know shit about ukraine or russia but it's it's very clear that whatever happens to ukraine and russia isn't going to affect the rest of the world to the point where world war three is starting and you got Zelensky there like well how much is 100 billion dollars enough I'm like how much is enough where do you want world war three it's like shut the fuck up bro you're a you're a comedian before you got elected to the most corrupt government in the world <laughs> and he's like give us more money it's like get the hell out of here dude holy shit <laughs> but our politicians have convinced us that you know what not only are we going to send billions of dollars to those people to those people we're not going to help our own people but you should be far more concerned and be far more grateful that someone like Patrick Mahomes has the greatest contract a QB has ever had. Holy shit, he's making so much money. You should just not even think about how expensive it is in your life. You should not think about how expensive groceries are, how, how expensive gas are, a uh, gas is, how fucking uh, crazy the economy has just gotten worse. It has gotten worse, but guess what? Those actors and those writers are on strike for a good cause. They need more money. It's fucking insane, man. It's, it's insane. You have, you have some of the best cities in the world falling to just crime and corruption and all. And if you, and if you say anything against it, you're a bigot, you're a racist, or you're just a phobe. You don't even know what's going on. You shouldn't be worried about the exploding crime rates in multiple cities. You should be worried about your, your opinions on the trans movement. Because if you don't have the right opinions, you're going to get canceled. 
It's so stupid. The Roman Empire was the greatest empire in human history. It expanded beyond anything we could ever freaking imagine. And it, and it fell. It crumbled. And no one seems to be talking about that at all. No one seems to be concerned that there are similar things that happened at the end of the Roman Empire that are currently happening to the American Empire. You know? And so it's... There's a reason why it's trending. People who are awake, not woke, but awake, can just see the, see the comparison. You know? And I just... I think it's worth noting that it's worth... <laughs> Noting. <laughs> Redundancy. That's what I'm about here. If you haven't noticed that, then I'm sorry. But I will repeat myself. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.